Uranus is an enigmatic giant that has puzzled astronomers for centuries. But what sets this gas giant apart from the others is its strange tilt. While most planets spin on an axis that is perpendicular to their orbit, Uranus takes a wild spin in a different direction. But why does it look like this? How did the planet turn out to be lying on its side? And what would we see if we visited the surface of such a planet? Let's find out. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, is a cosmic oddball and source of many jokes. It's one of the gas giants in our solar system, along with Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. It's also the third largest planet in our solar system, with a diameter of about 31,000 miles. And one of its many oddities is a weird rotation on its side. Not all planets in our solar system are aligned in a straight line. While most planets in our solar system have an axial tilt of less than 30 degrees, Uranus is tilted at an angle of almost 98 degrees. It's like that one friend who always has to be different, even if it means standing on their head to prove a point. So its north and south poles are facing east and west. It's like the planet got lazy and just rolled over one day, deciding to take a nap. And why is Uranus so tilted, you ask? Scientists once thought this was due to some kind of collision. They thought that something gigantic crashed into Uranus. Something like what happened to our Earth. A dwarf planet crashed into it, the Earth tilted slightly, and the Moon was born from the remnants of the collision. But this theory had a problem. In the early universe, there were a bunch of asteroids, dwarf planets, and other large objects. And if this is so, then why is only Uranus tilted? All sorts of guys have crashed into other planets too, but they don't have such features. But recently, scientists have published a new study. And now scientists think that the culprit might be a long lost moon that wandered away. Back in the days of the early solar system, the giant planets partied much closer together and way closer to the sun. But, as we all know, parties can get out of hand. Something caused Uranus and Neptune to migrate the farthest, like they were trying to get away from the Sun's strict supervision. Each giant planet had a collection of moons, but they were constantly getting shuffled around during all this migration madness. Some planets lost moons, while others gained new ones. Uranus could have been born with a massive moon, or quickly captured one, and if that moon was big enough, it could have started playing games with Uranus's spin. This moon pulled on Uranus with its gravity, making the wobbling even worse. As time went on, it made Uranus tilt more and more. Eventually, it crashed into the planet, locking it into its current tilt. While the theory is pretty sound, based on computer models, we'll have to wait until at least 2030. That's when China plans to launch the Tianwen-4 spacecraft to take a closer look at Uranus and study it more. Who knows what other crazy space secrets we'll uncover next. Until then, we can all have a good laugh about the lazy, rebel planet that just can't seem to stand up straight. Such a funny and unique feature makes you wonder, what exactly would we see if we were standing on this planet? How would its strange tilt affect the view from its surface? Let's see, if you were standing on the surface of Uranus, although it doesn't really have a surface, it's more like a gas atmosphere, you'd enjoy a cool view. You'd see the sun rise in the east, just like on Earth, but then it would keep going around the sky in a tilted path, like a lazy spiral. About the sunset though, I hope you have some patience because it would take 42 years for the sun to complete one full circle around Uranus's sky. That's a really long time to wait before finally going to bed. But speaking of the sky, it would be a beautiful sight to behold. Uranus is known for its stunning unique blue-green color. It's caused by the methane gas in its atmosphere. Methane absorbs red light, giving Uranus its cold hue. You'd also see some amazing clouds and storms swirling around the planet. 
But if you're looking for constellations, you're out of luck. The extreme tilt of Uranus means that its poles face towards the sun, so the stars would be all over the place in the sky. The constellations that are familiar to us would be unrecognizable from Uranus. Also, as the planet rotates, the position of the stars would change very often. Huh, for you sailors out there, good luck in navigation. But you could see its beautiful moons. Uranus has 27 known moons, with the largest being Titania, followed by Oberon, Umbriel, Ariel, and Miranda. These moons are thought to have formed from the same material that formed Uranus. And yes, the tilt affects them too. They orbit around the planet perpendicular to the planet's motion around the sun. And they aren't the only ones. Did you know that Uranus also has rings? Yeah, not only Saturn is so special. The rings are made up of ice particles, some as small as grains of sand, and others as large as several feet across. They're thin, narrow, and dark compared to Saturn, for example. They're actually so black that they almost don't reflect the light. That's why it's so difficult to see them from Earth. But if you were near the surface of Uranus, you might be able to see them in the sky. The only question is, would you even be able to focus on all these views? Because Uranus is extremely cold, and that will probably be the only thing you'd think about. We're talking about temperatures that can drop down to negative 350 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Brr, better pack some warm clothes for this trip. This is because it's so far from the sun and its atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. And not only is Uranus the coldest planet in our solar system, but the winters there are long. Due to the extreme tilt, it has seasons that last for over 20 years. It's like the planet is stuck in a perpetual state of winter, which is both cool, pun intended, and kind of sad at the same time. And if that's not cold enough, Uranus is also known for its strong winds. In fact, they can blow up to 360 miles per hour. So you might want to hold on tight to something or wear a windproof suit to avoid being blown away like a leaf. And finally, Uranus's magnetic field is also tilted at an angle of 59 degrees from the planet's axis of rotation. This creates some interesting effects. The most obvious one is beautiful auroras, which are similar to the northern and southern lights on Earth. On Uranus, however, the auroras are located near the planet's equator rather than at the poles. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The result is a dazzling light show that would make even the most jaded space traveler stop and stare in wonder. But even though it sounds pretty awesome, it makes it more difficult for spacecraft to navigate around Uranus. The magnetic field creates a lopsided gravitational pull that can affect the trajectory of spacecraft. This makes exploring Uranus a bit more challenging, but maybe it will change in the future. All in all, Standing on Uranus would be a chilly, wobbly, and breathtaking experience, and definitely not your average stroll in the park. Next time you look up at the night sky, think of this beautiful, icy planet, and remember that even in the vast expanse of space, there is always something new and exciting to discover. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.